The process of cadmium, is to prevent corrosion in the area treated. The cadmium process by immersion is not authorized, as per Bell helicopter manuals, also in Leonardo helicopters is not authorized either. This process can only be done in the areas authorized by the OEM manuals. As we can see in this Leonardo component, the dark grey color is the area not coated with cadmium and, the areas in light grey are the areas coated with cadmium. The reason that they are not yellowish in color, does not mean that they are not treated. The yellowish color is the chromic conversion, is to fill the porous area and also, to shows us that the process was done properly. In this video, we will be focusing on this Bell 412 tail rotor drive shaft adapter. As you can see here, we already cleaned the area with Scotch Bright. Basically, we will be needing three products in order to do this plating. The first one is an electro cleaning solution. In this case is the 10104100 made by Sipco which is the only brand authorized by Bell Helicopters. The second is the nickel solution, which is another process that we will be explaining. The third one is the cadmium which will allow us to complete the whole process. As a final step, we will be applying the chromic conversion to make sure the process was done properly. Now, here we have our equipment to do the process, it is manufactured by Sivco. We will be using energize the electrodes. The first one is the anode which is an electrode like this one made of graphite. The other part needed for the process is the cathode, which is the solution that we will be using. Then, through an electrochemical reaction we will be creating the coating. The first step is to cover the graphite to prevent the direct contact between the anode and the part. The sleeve or cover we are using is made of cotton to during the process there is no direct contact between the anode and the part. Caution: During the process of cadmium plating we must be careful not to weaken the part. This is called hydro embrittlement which if the process is done inappropriately the plating can cause the part to become harder making the part more brittle thus prone to crack. Here you can see the three containers with the different cathodes and here you can see anodes in each container so we can start the process. Warning: During the whole process make sure there is no grease or oil. Here you can see the three container with the different solutions and here under you can see the base where we will be closing the circuitry. In this other location is where we will be doing the bath of chromic conversion. Here we are setting our equipment. We are setting our voltage to 10 which is the ideal voltage so we have an evaporation faster and to control an evaporation no desired. We have our device set up in direct current. Now our first process which is the electro cleaning process we will be setting our current in reverse current to prevent embrittlement in the part. Another very important point is to make sure each anode is submerged in the chemical, the anode never can have contact with the part in dry conditions. If the anode touch the part dry, the part can get burned and damaged. In this case the Bell 412 tail rotor drive shaft adapter. Now that we have everything set for electro cleaning, with the equipment set to 10 volts in reverse current. You will see the amperage will change as soon as we start cleaning the part as you can see here. During the process of cleaning as you can see here, you will see the part has a change in the surface. This cleaning process needs to be done quickly as per bell manuals as we only wants the cleaning of the part not the molecular alteration of the part. During the cleaning process, make sure to clean every area that will be plated. After the electro cleaning process is done, we must clean the chemical everywhere in the base, the part completely. This process confirms that there will be no contamination. Now we change our cable to the next anode which is the nickel. And as you can see, we change the current a direct current in the device. 
Now during this next process with the cadmium there is no issue of embrittlement during the induction process. Now we do the same process as you can see here, only in the area we want to coat. During this process we won't see any change in the part during the application process, as you can see the part continues the same color. Even though there is no changes, we are having the first coating with nickel so the porous areas of the part get more adhesion to the cadmium plating process. After this, we clean everything again including the part so we do not contaminate the chemicals and the process. In this container we will be pouring the chromic conversion which will be giving us the right color tone, yellowish, this will show us if the whole process was done correctly and this will be shown right away. Here you can see the part already electro cleaned and with the nickel coating on it already rinsed and cadmium plated but how to know if the process was done correctly is by submerging the part few times and right away start getting the yellowish color. We rinse it, and repeat the process again. After the second submersion and rinse, will show the correct color if the whole process was done correctly. The main reason for the chromic conversion is because during the cadmium plating process the surface of the part will become porous, so when the chromic conversion is done, it will fill the porosity of the part and create a clean and perfect look of the part and protecting the part. Here with this bolt after being used for so long and losing the yellowish color, we can clean it and do a chromic conversion and look how the bolt gets his original look. The misunderstood that the yellowish is not the cadmium plating, is only to fill the porous of the part after cadmium plating. You can see that after cleaning the bolt submerge it in the chromic conversion, rinse it and repeat it and you can see the bolt looks new again. The reason the bolt turn yellowish means the bolt has not lost his cadmium plating. Here you can see the final result after the cadmium plating is complete. 